Number 7. 1964 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1964 D is common in circulated grades up to MS-64. In MS-65 they are a little harder to find but probably many still in original and even open roles. In MS-66 condition they become scarce with possibly under 1,000 available combined between raw and certified examples. There are probably more in original roles but getting harder to find. There are probably very few if any at all in open roles as these are usually pulled out and sold as singles or are sent in to be graded. In MS-67 it is one of the tougher dates from the 1960s especially from the Denver Mint. End of quote. Plus designated specimens and anything grading higher is considered rare. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $1,321.88 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1951 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. According to PCGS, the 1951 S. Lincoln Cent is common up to MS-66 condition. In MS-67 it becomes much scarcer. Examples grading above MS-67 are scarce overall but with enough searching, examples in this condition can be found. PCGS reports 53 specimens in Mint State 67 plus with just two numerically finer. This lustrous example ended up selling for $2,418.75 with buyer's fee on January 28, 2024. Number 5. 1974 D. Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this golden-tinged beauty is exceptionally well-preserved for a circulation strike Eisenhower Dollar. It is among the 10 finest certified by PCGS from a mintage of 45,517,000 pieces. It was sold for $5,520. Number 4. 1976 D. Bicentennial Quarter Struck on a Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. Is is an extremely rare error coin with fewer than 4 pieces known to exist. Boldly lustrous surfaces, fully brilliant and with no marks worthy of mention. Nicely centered, but just slightly high, giving room for the date and mint mark to be visible, if not complete. Sharp central detail. A visually dramatic error due to the large difference in sizes between the quarter dies and dime planchet. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 3. 1959 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This virtually pristine beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Bright, vivid surfaces possess full mint color in deep orange. The devices are sharply struck and possess a soft satin texture that contrasts markedly with deep reflectivity in the fields. Both sides are pristine in appearance, as befits the assigned grade. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 2. 1945 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this awe-inspiring superb gem offers not only superior technical quality, but also outstanding eye appeal. The peripheries are splashed with vivid multicolored toning that gives way to softer powder blue and antique silver iridescence in the centers. Smooth enough to please even the most discerning numismatist, we anticipate strong competition for this extraordinary coin between advanced Washington Quarter enthusiasts. It was sold for $20,400. Number 1. 1917 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. Here is an essentially pristine representative of this coveted double die variety. Vivid mint orange color is as bright and fresh as the day the coin was produced. The fully struck devices are enhanced by frosty mint luster that extends throughout the fields. Beautiful to look at and technically exceptional. The 1917 FS 101 is one of the most pronounced double die obverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Cent series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. This true rarity ended up selling for $21,600. Thanks for watching this video. Consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. Have a good one.